in LC Live. Do -do. I always wanted to join the worship team, but they don't let guys like me do that. <laughs> My name is Seth Tomboli. Uh, I'm the student pastor at GLR, the Greater Little Rock campus here in North Little Rock. And uh, man, I am excited to share the word with you today. The verse uh, that we are talking about today is in the book of James. And um, I love this. There's a lot of truth, a lot of wisdom in this book. You definitely should dig deeper in this and check out um, the context and what, what God's talking about in this. But I, I want to read in verse uh, 14 in chapter 1. Um, it says, actually, I'm going to read 13 going into 14. It'll help understand what's going on. It says, when tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But this is where we're going to focus. But, with one T, but each person is tempted when they are drug away by their own evil desire and enticed. This is a really powerful, uh, powerful, powerful, powerful words are hard. Uh, this is a powerful scripture because it helps us realize that um, it's our own evil desire that drags us away. And it goes on in the next verse in, in verse 15, and it says that after uh, desire has conceived, it's a thought, it's, it's, it's something in you. It says after it's conceived, it gives birth to sin. And then after sin, when it's full grown, it gives birth to death. I came to encourage you today, NLC Live. I, I want to talk about this because a lot of us think, I, I'm a student pastor, so I, I deal a lot with, with young people. And they'll say, Seth, I'm I'm so tempted. I can't stop being tempted. And I'm like, welcome to being a Christian, right? Like, welcome to be being a human. Um, temptation is part of walking with God. Temptation is part of living in the world where sin is present, where the, we live in a broken world. But I, I want to paint the picture for you. W wherever there's an opportunity to do the right thing, there's also an opportunity to do the wrong thing. And so often Christians, believers get paralyzed when temptation comes and they think, now I have to make the wrong decision because temptation is present. No, no, no. Jesus was tempted. He was tempted like worse than anybody. Like this dude, I mean, he was in, I can't imagine what that was like. So Jesus didn't fall into temptation, but he was tempted. And so every time we're presented with temptation, it's an opportunity, remember this, to do the wrong thing or to do the right thing. And hopefully you can be encouraged to know that you can do the right thing with the power of Christ that lives inside of you. I, I want to read this verse again. It says, but each person is tempted when they are drug away by their own desire and they're enticed. I, I, I want to draw attention to being drug away. Um, the enemy wants to seclude you. He wants to put you in isolation. Um, a lot of people think I can do this alone. I can do this by myself. Let me be the first person or maybe uh, just another dude that tells you, you, you can't do it alone. You need other people in your life speaking into your life or it's so easy to be drug away. I can tell you this. It's hard to be drug away in my life because of the people that I surround myself with, the accountability, the people that speak into my life and care about me. They love me. They care about my marriage. They care about my son. They care about the ministry. And so I want to encourage you to create um, that environment in your life where it's, it's hard to be drug away, where someone's going to notice and they're going to be able to say, hey, man, what's going on? It gives you an opportunity to talk about it with someone else so that it never can be conceived and give birth to death. Um, I, I want to pray for you guys, if that's okay. Lord, we love you. And, and God, I thank you for your word. Um, I pray that this scripture encourages someone today, God, that um, it's our own evil desire. It's, a, it's, it's inside of us. It's not you that's tempting us, God, but uh, literally temptation is an opportunity to do the right thing or the wrong thing. God, let us choose you which is the right thing, what your word commands, God, what you, what your word shares with us to do. God, let us do the right thing. And I, I just pray that you would surround every person listening to this video right now with people who would push them closer to you and motivate them to become fully devoted followers of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys.